Hello everyone. Let's try to solve today's question of the day. So it is given that if under root x1 minus 1, then 2 root x2 minus 4, 3 root x3 minus 9 up to n root xn minus n square, this is equal to half x1 plus x2 plus x3 up to xn. Then find out the number of trailing zeros in pi n equals to 1 to 40 of xn where pi means product. So that means we just have to multiply x1, x2, x3 up to x40 and then we have to find out the number of trailing zeros in that. Now this question looks very tough. Now most of you, you would have approached like you would have compared root x1 minus 1 to the first term of RHS which is nothing but x1 by 2. So if I put say x equal to 2 then we get 1 in the LHS, we get 1 in the RHS. So LHS is equal to RHS. But at the same time, if I put 3 in LHS, we get root 2. And in RHS, we get 3 by 2. So this doesn't hold in this case. So for some values, it holds. For some, it doesn't. So we can say that this relation, it will not hold for any random values of x1, x2, x3. There will be a specific set of values for which this relation will hold. Since we can see here that we are getting an irrational number in the LHS, a rational number in the RHS. So we'll assume here that there's a specific set of values which is satisfying this equation. So there is only one way left in which we'll have to compare each term of LHS with each term of RHS. Like we'll be comparing this x1 term in the LHS to x1 term in RHS. So if we do that, we get under root x1 minus 1 equals to half of x1. So this can be further written as 2 root x1 minus 1 equals to x1. If we square both the sides, we get 4 x1 minus 1 equals to x1 square. So only one value of x1 satisfies here, which is 2. Similarly, you can compare this second term 2 root x2 minus 4 with half of x2. You will get x2 equals to 8. If you do the same with x3 term, then you will be getting x3 equal to 18. If you do that with x4, you will be getting 32. So here, let us find out if there's a trend between the values of x1, x2, x3, x4. So we are getting 2, 8, 18, 32. We can write this as 2 into 1 square. Then it can be written as 2 into 2 square, 18, 2 into 3 square, 32, 2 into 4 square. So we can say that 40th term would be 2 into 40 square so when you multiply all of these terms you will get 40 terms 2 will be multiplied 40 times so 2 to the power 40 into then you will be multiplying 1 square 2 square 3 square up till 40 square so 1 into 2 into 3 up to 40 becomes 40 factorial we will be getting 40 factorial square now in this you have to find out the power of 5 because obviously power of 2 is very much larger than power of 5 so power of 5 in 40 it is, you just have to find out this 40 by 5 plus 40 by 25. This is integer part. So this is 8 plus 1 that means 9. So in 40 factorial power of 5 is 9. So in 40 factorial square it will be 18. So we'll have 18 trailing zeros in this product given over here. So what to do with this doesn't hold condition over here when LHS is not equal to RHS. See, if you are only given options, then you have to proceed in this manner. Otherwise, in the options, it will definitely be mentioned that this relation doesn't hold or even cannot be determined. That could be an option. So somebody asked me this question. I would say that if options are given, you have to proceed this way. Otherwise, this relation doesn't hold. I hope the explanation is clear. There's only one way to solve this question, which I have explained. If there is any doubt, please ask. Thank you.